Where are you going, Freck Row? Look at that. He doesn't know where to go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Big Ton Plays EverQuest. I'm on the Vox server, and I'm working on the Hero's Journey Achievement Quests. Making a name for yourself. I'm on the collect eight pond alligator hides part of the quest for what a croc. So this dude wants me to gather alligator hides off of these alligators that are in this lake right here. I'm in Crescent Reach. I've been Slowly killing away. I made it to level 16 on all my guys. As you can see, there's Frecro and Big Ton hiding in the pile of follows right there. So we're gonna just kill a few. Don't want to heal it. Oops. Like Frecro is out there. do our little routine here. Get ourselves set up as the main assist. Set the tank up as the tank. Go ahead and make myself the puller as well. Pop up the loot window just to see. Okay, so we're getting those. Still needing on them, okay, because he needs five more. Not what I wanted to do. Let's close that out. All right. All right, so. I guess I'll just talk about my key bindings. I've been watching other YouTubers play a little bit of EverQuest. And on one of them, I was noticing that they actually manually click the sit button. Which, you know, if that's how you play, that's how you play. Nothing wrong with that. Not how I play. So I was going to talk about how I play. So for me, I use, you know, the WASD for moving, and I use the mouse to steer. So I don't like to move my left hand around the keyboard very much. So I try to keep it, you know, so that I can kind of like within a very short distance of my fingers be able to navigate my spells and whatnot. So to sit down, for me, I just hit X. Just a quick middle finger down, you know, just X. S is to back up, obviously. Get my guys running around like a bunch of goofballs. Where are you going, Freck Row? Look at that. He doesn't know where to go. He's right there. So I'm going to do the next quest here, which is becoming a hero. Probably off camera. Because I think that might be the last quest for Crescent Reach. But I'm not going to make a, dis you know, a decision at this moment. Because if it's not, then I don't know. Because I am getting terrible frame rate inside Crescent Reach here. Seems to be an issue inside Crescent Reach because I run around all over the other zones and there's no problem. Inside Plane of Knowledge, around a bunch of other players and stuff, no problem. Uh, it's, I gotta. 
actually, you know what? I think that's agreed. So anyway, X is to sit down for me. To open the book, it's Shift S. And then obviously your normal, you know, one through six, you know, Q, E, F, T, and the shift variants of all those. That's how I manage my, well, you can see them on the bar here. Q, E, F, T, Shift E, Shift F, Shift Q, Shift T, one through six, and then it's Shift one, two, three, the G, and then it's the buttons on my mouse. But I just noticed the guy was clicking the sit button, and I was like, just make it a button, man. Do you have to click on something? There's a, it's, you're a lot more likely, in my opinion, to forget to click it. Because I was noticing that he kept forgetting to sit down. So while I was watching his video, I kept saying, sit down, sit down, sit down. I just thought it was kind of funny. Here, have Spirit of Wolf. There you go. Alright, back to killing the alligators. So try to kill the ones on the shore because they don't like going in the water. Because the Ixar swims so fast that Big Ton keeps getting left behind. But it doesn't look like they're anymore on the shore, so... It's a pain in the butt to get out of the water, too. Because any direction but forward, you are slow. Read on that. We'll do a need on that. Read. Need. Go ahead and loop these. That's another thing too. I was noticing that he used the uh, he was using this loot window here, but he doesn't have it set up. Maybe it's because he's not in a group, and maybe that's how it works in a group. But when you have it set for the auto greed and need and stuff, it like auto loots too, so you don't have to actually click on anything. Everything. All right, everybody's looted up. Yeah, it's not a not an alligator. That's also not an alligator. Have to wait for Big Ton to climb up out of the water if he can get out of the water. Heh. <laughs> then they're suffocating. I think I killed all of the little knolls that I needed to kill. That skill up, Frecro. I usually have my Gina set up to track whoever the main window is. That's the, uh, if I hit Alt 2. So when I load up, I decide who I'm going to basically drive with. And that person I put on Alt 2. So Alt 1 is Frecro, and I forgot to change who it's tracking for, like, skill ups and whatnot. Just because he's in my way. Target resisted. So let's tash him. By the time we get everything on him, he'll be dead, so not really gonna worry about slowing him. Go ahead and buff our party up. My favorite 
thing in the game to do is be a shaman, run past somebody, and just, like, fill their buff bar up. Another cool thing about EverQuest is the buff bar actually, or your buffs actually make you feel like you are more powerful. I remember playing World of Warcraft and you'd get your well-fed bonus and your flask and stuff, and it's like you were, you were, you know, technically more powerful, but it didn't make you feel like you were more powerful, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, I got my buffs on. Like, the three buffs that I can do. In this game, though, man, there are buffs that are, like, game-changing, and I love that. It's, like, one of my favorite things about this game. Yeah, that's right. You yawn, you little alligator. Nope. That was a big miss pull. Can I enthrall you? No, because I don't have it up. I just recently made my assist macro. So I keep forgetting to use it. So when I tab over to that window, I need to make sure that I'm hitting one first so that I can assist the driver, I guess you could say. Man, I still wish that EverQuest would have, like when they made EverQuest 2, I wish they would have like just remade EverQuest in a new engine and then just like transferred everybody's characters into that engine. That way, when EverQuest 2 came out, they could have just been like, alright, you have to play EverQuest 2 now. And just, like, made it a smooth transition to that new engine. Because this engine's outdated, and there's a lot of stuff I'm noticing. Like, if you are at just the right angle with your camera, you can see that the... The eyeballs, the little gaseous orbs that are inside these ogre skulls they they're like not inside their head they're actually like floating above their head and i think that there's a, other things too like uh particle effects on weapons do it too just one of those little things where you're like really like the game is that old and it is but it's not gonna stop me from playing it just a few little gripes and complaints, but those are the things I think keep, that keep people from, like, wanting to play the game. Because my roommate absolutely refuses to play this game based purely on the fact that it looks old. And I'm like, well, it is old. That doesn't take away from its greatness. Fight that guy. Target resisted. What is this? things problem. So... Auto need. Need. What's its problem? Hmm. What's it want me to do?
the what the timer ran out and because I didn't have anything s selected it didn't ask wonder if that's what pull for item once asked Still getting that figured out. A couple little things here and there. Head in. Passion. Just running up and down the thing here looking for alligators and these ogres keep running over here. Oh. Wasn't in the water quite enough. I'm imagining that one of the next quests I'll be doing is probably going to be having me gather those, but I've mentioned it before, but sometimes it's loot, the skull or whatever the item is, and you can't pre-loot it. Like, if you have a bunch in your inventory, it, like, doesn't give you credit for the quest because it wants you to loot them. So I'm just going to pass on them. There's no, you know, no sense carrying them if you're eventually going to have to loot them again anyway. I think everybody has the eggs. Right? Oh, he still needs some of the knoll stuff. But he just needs... Oh, he needs the bits... Off of there too. Okay, so I'm I'm killing crocodiles and the gnolls still. Oh, that's right. Last time I was killing the gnolls, there was a there was a group or something sitting by here that was uh, killing them all. So there wasn't enough gnolls for me to complete the quest because I gotta complete it three times. You dodge the blow. Somebody gained level 17 for Frecro. Typical EverQuest. <laughs> Dinging all over the place. Yeah, typical EverQuest. It's like several levels lower than you and it'll just like have unfathomable resists against your spells. Usually it's when you're, uh, you know, when you're like low on mana. When you're low on mana, all of a sudden they just start resisting everything you throw at them. It's like, what in the heck? That's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to finish a couple of these uh, things off camera and then maybe I'll queue up the uh, turn-ins and then uh, gathering up the next set of quests. So if you like this video, click the like button. 
If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Put your comments down in the comment section below. Check the description for links to social media and ways to help my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.